Hey guys, I'm Katie at Screenscape and I'm super excited to show you our new layer options found in Screenscape 5. These new options can be found in the layer panel by clicking on the drop down arrow and then the plus button. This shows you the list of layer styles. These are a total game changer for me. It's making my workflow so much faster and we hope you'll find them just as useful. So buckle in for a quick walkthrough of all these cool new layer styles. Starting from the bottom of the list is opacity, which is how you control the transparency of your layer. Basically, it allows you to make things see-through. The next one up from the bottom is text shadow. This one is life-changing for me. I use it all the time. You can control the color of the shadow using this box. We also give you total control over your text shadow. Using the X and Y offset, you can pick the direction and distance of the shadow. Then you can either leave it with a crisp edge or add a little bit of a blur just to add some softness, depending on the look that you want. The next one up is line height. Just like the name suggests, it allows you to manually adjust the space between the lines of your text. Another huge feature that I'm personally super excited about. Next, we've got letter spacing, and just like line height, the name does a pretty good job of explaining what it is. Basically, you can add or remove space between each letter. Now I'm gonna jump up to background color because I love this one. It's so exciting, I'm gonna create a whole new layer to show you my favorite use case for it. If you delete all the text in the text layer, I just backspaced it all out of there so you can see here that it's empty. Then we add background color and opacity. When you turn the opacity down a little bit and drag it down beneath your text layer, you've suddenly got a semi-transparent color overlay. I love it. I use this all the time. It helps to create contrast with your text and ensure that it's super legible, no matter how busy your background photo is. You can also change the shape of these layers, so you can drag it all around using the drag handles to make columns, bars, the little bottom border, uh, whatever you need. This brings us to border and border radius. These are fairly straightforward as well. You can control the border color and width, and then adding border radius curves the edges of the shape so you can change the look completely. You can make it a circle by typing into the box. For example, 600 gives you a deeper curve to achieve a larger circular shape. Again, this is a huge game changer for me. My workflow has never been faster. If I use a color that doesn't suit your needs, all you have to do is head over here and change it so fast. No more guessing on my part uh, what colors you guys might need and no more frustration for you that your photos might not match the assets I've created. This leaves box shadow and filter. Box shadow is just like text shadow. It works the same way. You choose your color and your offset, add a blur, and you've immediately added depth to your design. Our filter options are currently blur, which is great for color blending or for a background image, and brightness, which I love to use to just darken photos a little bit. It helps to also add contrast. Again, I'm so excited about these layer styles. I'm sure you can tell I love them. They have made my work so much faster and I'm sure that you guys will get a ton of use out of them as well. Uh, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, all that good stuff. You can reach out to us at mediacorner at screenscape.com if you've got any design questions. And there's tons of info and helpful blogs on our website, which is www.screenscape.com.